Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 15, verses 19 to 33. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 19 to 33. Follow along with me in your Bible as I read. The way of the lazy is a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes his father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is a joy to him who lacks sense, but a man of understanding walks straight. Without consultation, plans are frustrated, but with many counselors they succeed. A man has joy in an apt answer, and how delightful is a timely word. The path of his life leads upward for the wise, that they may keep or that he may keep away from Sheol below. The Lord will tear down the house of the proud, but he will establish the boundary of the widow. Evil plans are an abomination to the Lord, but pleasant words are pure. He who profits illicitly troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Bright eyes gladden the heart. Good news puts fat on the bones. He whose ear listens to the life-giving reproof will dwell among the wise. He who neglects discipline despises himself, but he who listens to reproof acquires understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction for wisdom, and before honor comes humility. Now in this passage, we see many familiar themes that we have seen throughout the Proverbs about taking instruction, about diligence, about following counselors, those kind of things. And I want to look at it today from the aspect of trusting in divine providence. You see, wisdom trusts in divine providence. This begins with the verse that that ends this section, with the fear of the Lord. If we're going to truly trust in God and trust in His providence, it's because we have a, a healthy reverence and fear for Him that starts with humility, that starts with not seeing ourselves in a prideful way, but with humility and with a recognition of how great and awesome God is. This also shows us that we trust in divine counsel. We follow the ways of the Lord and follow biblical counselors that the Lord sends us. You see, obedience to God's commands and obedience to biblical counselors that God gives us is really an acknowledgement that you trust His providence, that even when circumstances may seem that there's a quicker way to success, there's a quicker way to happiness, there's a, a better way to be satisfied, to humble ourselves and to trust in the Lord's command, to trust in the reproof and counsel of wise counselors, biblical counselors, is to trust in the providence of God, to trust that His ways are better than man's ways. We also see in this that the person who is wise, who trusts in the providence of God, approaches life with patience. He trusts in God's provision rather than seeking the quick or easy way to get what it is he wants, which is often the sinful way to get what he wants. Friends, this is another acknowledgement of a trusting in God's providence, trusting in His promises, and that His ways are better than our ways, even when circumstances may not seem to look like it. It may seem that when one uh, pursues finances, pursues wealth in an ungodly manner, that they may get there quicker. But God's Word says that diligence and that trust in the Lord's provision brings gladness and brings wealth and brings satisfaction. And so we have a choice to make of whether or not we're going to trust in the providence of God or we're going to trust in our own ways, in our own schemes, in man's wisdom. The wise person trusts in the providence of God and follows his ways because of that trust in his providence. I pray this is an encouraging thinking for you as you begin your day today. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.